what's up everybody? I'm Numbers. So now today, you know, we've we've done a lot of food videos here, like four or something like that. And you know, what goes good with food? Well, something to drink. You need something to wash it down, you know. So today, I'm going to show you how to actually make something that's not food and will be pretty good. Let's go! To make this coffee, you're going to need a few things. Blender, pitcher, other pitcher, funnel, coffee filter, coffee, creamer, water, and the thing for the blender. Unless you have a coffee grinder, that works too. And sugar. <laughs> and money for a replacement counter. No, the counter is fine. That is not a required part of this recipe. Okay, first things first. Uh, the blender is actually kind of optional, but if you're like me, I got coffee on the counter. If you're like me, uh, you buy whole bean coffee because you're you have expensive taste. Open this package of coffee up. Wow, that actually worked a lot better. Than it I worked a lot. It actually worked <laughs> very well. A lot better than I thought it would. Ah, I probably shouldn't throw knives. Mmm, it smells very good. Put that on. Grind it up. Is that enough coffee? I don't know. We'll find out though. Pitcher! Are you getting scared about it? What? Yes. <laughs> Am I, is it my loudness or are you scared I'm gonna break the cap? No, it's your loudness. Sorry. I have to pay to get my tooth unchipped. What do you mean? I just had it. It's a measuring cup. Well, that's what happens when you throw things. I just had it though. I need my measuring cup. Right there, that one. Measuring cup! <laughs> <laughs> this is a three quart pitcher, so we're gonna need roughly, I and mean, depending on how strong you like your coffee at least, we like it fairly strong, not super strong, but like, you know, eh, kinda strong. One cup of coffee, so this is a fourth cup, so we're gonna need four of these duber boppers thing them up. Thing them up. Huh. There we go. That's basically a cup. Now in order to get the best flavor from your coffee, you of course need Chuck Norris Sea Force Water! Yeah! Three layers! Mm -mm -mm. Put the lid on. Open the fridge. Make sure crap isn't in the way. And put that crap... Oh, I put that on the wrong... Whatever. Put that crap in the fridge. For 12 to 16 hours. Other pitcher. Take the lid off. You're gonna need a lid for this one. And the lid for one of them broke, so you know, you only have one lid. If that's not the case in your household, then you're not gonna be able to make this, obviously. It's it's impossible. Put the, the coffee filter in the funnel or that through the filter. Lots and lots of fun. Quality, quality, quality entertainment. Almost there. Almost there. The South always thought oil was liquid gold, but coffee was the real liquid gold. Tired of waiting. That's good enough. And if you like pure black coffee, that is all you have to do right there. But I'm not that weird. I'm pretty, I'm pretty weird, but not that weird. I'm going to make some sugar and creamer mix. <laughs> Step one of things that I forgot to say that you needed. A pot! I guess this is optional, so. A pot! Uh, the, the creamer, the sugar, and more water. I don't have any more C4, so filtered water will do. Where's my measuring cup again? On the floor. It's fine, is it not? I mean, it just had dry ingredients on it. Clean off your measuring cup that you threw onto the floor because you thought you were done with it, and uh, then use that again. Next time, don't throw your measuring cup onto the floor. Also, I guess if you're using liquid creamer, you don't have to do this. We just don't use liquid creamer ever since we switched to this Borden's Cremora coffee creamer. We made the switch. Okay, almost a gallon, this is going to be a gallon of coffee all in all, so we're going to do a cup of creamer for the whole thing, that should be good, and then the 
with a measuring cup in here already. It's not what I want, though. And maybe half a cup of sugar for, for the whole thing. Then you just use water and you make a simple syrup on the stove. Turn the stove up. Now, I know all of y'all are wondering, numbers, how am I gonna stir that stuff? Well, this is how. You don't need to go get a hand mixer or anything like that. Just use a drill from the house and put a put a thing on it and then And after about like I don't know, like what, five minutes or something? Five minutes, it should look more like this into a thick, thick, nice, delicious cream rather than uh rather than just clumpy disgustingness. Take the thing off. Oh no. Turn off the stove. Ah! Ah! Oops. I didn't take it off the stove quick enough. Open up your coffee pitcher. Pour that garbage in. Get all of it out. I forgot something. Again, I am the king of forgetting. You still need this. Stir it. Put the lid back on. Now for the final most important step. Trying the coffee yourself. And then serve it to your loved one and see how much they like it. Delicious! Hope y'all all enjoyed that video and y'all all be able to go home and make some delicious coffee for a few days. It'll keep in the fridge for I think like four or something like that. So drink it before then. Anyways, everyone, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye!